Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to create waypoints in your world without mods. The Waystones data pack introduces waystones into the game. This means you'll be able to place down waypoints in your world, making it easier to travel from spot A to spot B or between friend spaces. To craft waystones, you'll need to use this recipe. That'll give you a spawn egg, but don't use it just yet. You'll have to name the spawn egg what you want your waypoint to be named. You should use an anvil to do this. When you've done that, you can place the waystone anywhere in a vanilla dimension and you'll see that a waypoint has been created. Keep in mind if you place the cinemata dimension it will most likely not work. If you right click the waystone it'll say waystones list at the top and then showcase all of the waypoints you have in your world below it. You can have up to 28 waystones in your world in total. If I go to a different location quickly and create a new waypoint I can right click and as you can see it showcases the waypoint I created earlier. All you have to do to teleport to it is click it. If you're in a multiplayer world they would also show you the waypoints other players created so you can travel back and forth. If at any point you want to remove a waypoint from the list though, all you have to do is destroy its respective waystone. Now I know you're wondering how you can play with this data pack. Well, I'll be showing you how you can download it and set it up on your server in the next few segments, so stay tuned. Firstly, you can use the link in the description to get to the official download page. Scroll down to where it says download data pack and click it. That'll redirect you to a page that'll instantly download the data pack zip. Once that's done, we recommend dragging this data pack zip to a place where you can easily access, for example, your desktop. That is so it's easier to follow the next few steps. For this step, you're going to have to go to the server.pro website and access your server control panel from there. At the dashboard, make sure that the server version matches the data pack version to ensure no complications. The creator states that this data pack is suitable for versions 1.18 to the 1.19 snapshot, so I've set my server to the version 1.18.2. Before proceeding to the next step, quickly confirm that the server is offline. Firstly, I'll be showing you how to upload the data pack onto a world you've already created. This data pack doesn't require you to make a new world, but if you're interested in that, I'll be showing you how to create a brand new world with the data pack enabled after. Firstly, what you're going to do is head to the Files tab. Click on the World folder and then the Data Packs folder. Here's where you're going to drag the Waystones data pack zip you downloaded at the beginning of the video. And that's it, the data pack is uploaded onto your world. However, if you're interested in creating a brand new world with the data pack enabled, you're going to want to head to the Worlds tab. Here's where you're going to create a brand new world. You can set your world name and adjust world settings as usual, just make sure the world name doesn't have spaces or special characters. However, below, you'll also see a button labeled Upload Data Packs. Simply click the Select Files button and then navigate Navigate to the area you saved the Waystones data pack zip to. Once you've found it, press open and then create world. It'll take a second for the files to upload, but when that's done, you should go into the files tab. Double click on your world folder and then go into the data packs folder. If you see the data pack zip inside, it means you have followed these steps correctly. Now that the data pack is uploaded, all you have to do is log into your server to experience the new additions. You can do this by heading to the dashboard and copying the host name. Afterwards, quickly launch your Minecraft application and when it's open, head to the multiplayer section. Click add server and in the server address section, paste the host name. Name your server whatever you want and then join it. Once you're in, you'll be able to travel back and forth in your world with ease. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.